Okay, so this is my new Delight uh, projection screen uh, in its case, and I'm going to show you how to put it together. As you can see, the only thing exposed right now is the carrying handle. <laughs> okay, so I've got the tripod uh, and screen out of the bag, uh, one unit. Uh, there's a little nib there that holds the projection screen into place, and at the top there's another little nib uh, which holds the screen into place. So our first step down here is to open the tripod base which we do simply by pushing down on this little tab which allows it to release. Alright, so I got the tripod pretty much open and the way you can make sure it's open is by really giving it a strong push down to make sure that it's set. Uh, now we're going to undo that nib on the top using this little nib right here which holds the bar into place uh, we're going to release that just like this and then pull up. It's a two-handed job. There's the top that's now released so the screen can be moved. Now if you remember the only other spot that's it's being held into place is right there. That doesn't get popped out in any other way than a horizontal movement of the actual screen. It just requires one hand and the screen doesn't actually have a horizontal latch, that's just done by gravity. So once the screen is out like that, you can grasp hold of the handle there, pull it up, and attach it at the top. At that point you pretty much have your screen ready to go. The other adjustments are on the back. So on the back of the screen here, the easiest option with gravity as your aid is to release that pin and drop the screen all the way down. Works if you're in an area that doesn't have a very high ceiling. The other option is to continue to extend this nib. So once you've extended from that nib, you can see the holes that are available, and the screen is almost at the ceiling. There are a couple more smaller features that I wondered about and tried to figure out. This one right here is a tightener, so that if this plastic nib is not in one of the holes, it can still hold itself into place pretty tightly. The other one is the keystone adjuster up here, which is a piece of metal that extends out and then folds horizontal. You can detach the screen from its regular spot and drag it around so that it's holding out and isn't vertical, uh, not perpendicular to the floor, uh, now it's more angled towards the floor. Uh, which is helpful in some situations. The last thing that you do after making sure that your project, uh, projection screen uh, and projector line up nicely is to attach your skirt so that the audience thinks that you've done a very nice job setting up. Uh, remember, one of the tripod legs will stick out slightly and you simply need to fluff it around a little bit to make that work. Now we'll take the screen apart. The first step is to remove skirt. Second, detract the screen. Make sure that your lower nib is at its default position. The upper one can stay there for, there for right now until we have folded the screen back into its original position. We'll do that now. Be sure that you swing your screen back in the right direction so that this plastic nib can hold it in the center and up there at the top is the nib that we dropped into place. The final step, after everything is clicked away, including those lower legs of the screen, uh, is to put everything back into the case. This handle should be exposed when everything is zipped up so that you have an easy way to carry the bag.